Hi all, uh, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to calculate the William percentage R in the Excel, how to get the value of this indicator in the Excel. But before we do that, let's see how it works. So essentially what I've done is I've added this indicator called William percentage R. And generally what you will notice is that the value of this indicator goes from zero to minus 100. So it, it only goes from in the negative, it doesn't go into positive. And how do we actually use this is something similar to divergence. So let me give you an example here. If you notice during this time, uh, I'm sure I'm showing you Nifty on five minutes. Nifty was kind of making an uptrend. If you, if you touch the highs, it was kind of making an uptrend. But during the same time, if you notice that the billion percentage R was making a downtrend. So this is a clear divergence happening. And once this happens, we can go for a selling trade because this is a bearish divergence happening. So I can go for a selling trade based on billion percentage R. So I can take a selling entry here. And once I take a selling entry, I can, you can see the market fell down pretty, pretty much. And uh, then I can again show you another billion percentage R uh, divergence happening, but this time a bullish divergence. You can see here that Nifty was making lows. So Nifty was clearly going in a, in a downtrend, but during the same time, the William percentage R started making an uptrend. And again, this was a bullish divergence now. So this was a bullish example of bullish divergence. We could have taken a buying entry here and then we can see that the that Nifty went up. So William percentage R works really well, um, both for bullish and bearish divergence. So let's try to see how are we going to calculate the value of William percentage R using Excel. So I am now showing you the Excel here. Let's say we want to calculate the William percentage R with the period of 14. So for that, we will first need our max value. We will then require our minimum value. And then finally, we'll require our William percentage R. So the max value is just the high of the 14 uh, previous 14 candles. So that's simple max of all the 14 uh, max of the 14 high values. So this is this is this will give me the maximum value in the in the last 14 candles. And similarly, the minimum is is equal to min, and min is the minimum of the 14 candles of low. So this gives me the max and the min for 14. In case I'm looking for William percentage R with period 14. And finally, to calculate William percentage R, all you have to do is is equal to open brackets, max minus the closing price, bracket close, divided by, again open bracket, max minus the minimum. But once you get this, you'll see that the value is coming out to be very uh, negligible. So what, what, all you have to do is multiply this by minus 100. Why minus? Because as we just saw, billion percentage R is always negative. So once we've done that, our formula is done and I'm just double clicking it. And with this, we can see that all the values of billion percentage are negative and in the range of zero to a minus 100. So we can actually check that out. I'm just going to add a filter here. And if you see a filter, it goes from minus 100 all the way till zero. So our billion percentage R is done and um, how do you actually do divergence of billion percentage? I've actually made a separate video on that. So I made a video how to use RSI divergence. The formula will remain the same. So I will give you the link of the RSI divergence with uh, uh, the video in, in, in the details. Thank you and see you around.